60 years is for me like one day because I never stop. I start when I have eight years old in my school, looking for the boys and girls who want to participate in Christmas dance. I did it, I like it. I found other groups, so I take dance every day. I'm born in Siberia. The city name is Bisk. It's very far from everywhere. I talk to my parents. And I said, listen, I want to go to ballet school. And my father said, okay, go. Because you see the Moscow, just like a trip. And we come back. It's seven days in train. So when we arrive, it's for me like European city. <laughs> this is different. The school accept. I said, I stay. My mom crying. Little boy, stay over there. One room, we live five person there. But I did it, I cook, I wash my clothes, and finished school in 73. And I fly to Ciudad Odessa, yes, in Ukraine. People said this little Paris, most beautiful theater in the world. Composer Russian Tchaikovsky, half director the orchestra. We have a huge ballet company and a huge repertoire. Vladimir was my very first ballet teacher. It was in Odessa, my home city in Ukraine. He, he was a magical person to me from the first day. I believe Vladimir was 24, 26 years old then, full of energy. Everything he would show would be very inspiring. He was very charismatic. He was very strict. All parents were in love with him, especially mothers. <laughs> Vladimir has the essence of that academism, which I so respect uh, professionally. And he still shows everything full out, <laughs> just like I remember him. 1981, I moved to Moscow, study in university, the arts. After six year and a half, I'm Finnish. I'm professional ballet teacher and professional choreographer. It's uh, socialism, so when I'm finished, nobody wants to give me a job because I'm married and I have a child from a capitalist country. Offer for me only one place, Kyrgyzia, Kyrgyzstan. I accept because I have no choice. When I start work there, I teach everything. 87 come Perestroika. With Gorbachev, the newspaper, Small, small, that size. The people feel free, fly and meet with families. In 87, I fly to Venezuela. And I feel free. No more Russian people around, no more KGB. I start working in Venezuela with fabulous, very important choreographer, Vicente Nebrada. His special free movement. I met Vladimir in Caracas, Venezuela. I scheduled an interview for Vicente for the TV station. Producers told me, can we go inside the ballet studio? And everybody, no, that's never gonna happen. Maestro Vladimir will never let you in. Rapida. And I just went downstairs to the Sala H and I asked, would it be possible to bring the TV cameras? In? But remember, it's gonna be big, huge lights, huge cameras. He said, yes, sure. And everybody was like, what? <laughs> and that's how we started talking. And, um, well, the rest is history. <laughs> In Russia, I understand classical ballet. This one way. But with Vicente in South America, with Latin music, it's, it's different. Latin people is very, very musical. He's told me that not only did he learn what freedom was in Venezuela, what freedom of movement was. So those two things connected to make of Vladimir who he is right now. He came to see a function, and after the function, he waited for 
Y esperó a mi papá, me dijo, tú estás perdiendo el tiempo, tú tienes que comenzar ya en la compañía profesional. El maestro llega a fortalecer mucho lo que es la compañía del ballet Teresa Carreño, porque el maestro de Brada era el coreógrafo, pero el que daba las clases era el maestro Vladimir. Era una época en que los bailarines, digamos, no trabajaban tan duro. Cuando llega el maestro Vladimir, por ejemplo, a las mujeres, ya se nos exigía la, hacer la clase completa en punta. En la compañía de ballet pasábamos bueno, el día entero allí. Éramos todos una familia. Conocía perfectamente a todos los bailarines. ¿Qué nos hacía falta? Necesitábamos saltar más, estar más fuertes, qué sé yo, para girar. Eran difíciles, eran difíciles, pero él siempre mantenía un sentido del humor en la clase. Y siempre me río con él porque me parece además todo un personaje. My Spanish from Venezuela es mi segunda patria. I learned Spanish with Chavo del Ocho. This is my teacher. Chusma, chusma, chusma. I fly to USA lots uh, because invite me to teach in different summer programs. Nina Allen and Maritza Parmigiani helped me with the first uh, year in Miami. We brought in Vladimir, which was my first introduction to him. Quite young, spoke very little English, but he made himself understood. After the Russian ballet seminars, we invited Vladimir to join our school, which at that time was Aventura Dance Academy and had a huge influence on our students. I had to start from zero. You know those movies where the camera goes directly to you like in a big zoom? And I said, oh my God, I don't know anybody here. Three years later, Nina and Marisa retired and left the whole organization to us. Our Department of Cultural Affairs has supported arts ballet theater from the very inception in the late 1990s. And I can tell you that from the very beginning, I remember the absolute passionate commitment of Ruby and Vladimir to producing great dance performances and to training kids in the art of dance. I like that Vladimir works with storytelling ballets. The first time I saw Dr. Ouch, I was just cracking up all the time. And Cipollino, of course, getting immersed into a cartoon. The first choreography I do in Puerto Rico, director of the Ballet Concierto of Puerto Rico, Lolita San Miguel, she asked me, Vladi, we need to do something for the end of the year. I have the cartoon in memory. So I do the libretto and I take the music and make the choreography. She said, I don't know what our critics said, but when the show definitely come to theater, then I wrote very beautiful, beautiful about me, about ballet. I love Vladimir's choreography. In fact, I mentioned to him when I saw his Nutcracker that it was my favorite Nutcracker that I had seen. And as you know, there are tons of Nutcrackers, but uh, his musicality is uh, really, really dynamic, uh, really beautiful and one of a kind, really catchy. Intriguing about Vladimir is his sense of humor. When he teaches class, when he choreographs, it's just, it's just a hood. Not everybody understands that, but I do. So it makes me laugh all the time. His work does not become irrelevant when the time passes. It's not a work of today, it's a work of forever. The success of this couple, Vladimir and Ruby, is that we respect everybody's position and we admire everybody's work. He is the boss on the dance floor. I am the boss on the cement floor. He has that capability of taking care of every dancer's need, no matter the level. And when the student is not responding, he makes that a priority. Es que tiene la misma pasión en enseñar a un niño pequeño en enseñar a un bailarín profesional. He was more than a teacher. He was somebody that will inspire you to be better in your life. A lot of the work that I do as a teacher is transferring the information that I got from him to my students. 
Ну, ты сразу чувствуешь, не только ты, но и твое тело чувствует сразу уровень того педагогу, которого ты занимаешься. Тот фундамент, та база, которую Владимир, когда он был в поколении своих танцовщиков и потом стал педагогом, и, конечно, это определенное призвание продолжать свою карьеру после танцовщика, стать педагогом не каждый может. Продлить твою карьеру и твою жизнь, и твое тело будет, и твой инструмент, твое тело будет тебе служить намного дольше. I believe the transition from Russia, Ukraine, Venezuela, the US, all he has done is to open his mind. He likes to see, he likes to observe, he likes to see other classes, other teachers, other choreography. And because he's methodical, he can schedule himself to do everything he wants to do. When you go home after work, your normal expression is, oh, I'm so tired. Vladimir's best expression is always when he comes, I had a tremendous good class, or I had a wonderful rehearsal. He always comes with that positive expression. Yes, tired, but happy. Fuera de, de enseñarnos técnicamente, nos hacía crecer como personas. Y eso es muy importante. Siempre me decía, tú eres latina, tú tienes sangre, ahí vamos, con fuerza, tú puedes. Ha aportado muchísimo al ballet peruano. Nuevas generaciones están creciendo basados en, en la técnica y todo el trabajo que la ha hecho. One of the things that makes Arts Ballet Theater so special is that Maestro Vladimir is a leading expert in the Vaganova method of ballet instruction, and he's known the world over as an expert in this style. And in addition to training students in his ballet school, he has now created an innovative and impressive program to train ballet teachers on how to properly teach this method to their students. He could be very serious. That's the reason why all the dancers respect him so much. After all these years, they keep calling him maestro. Una obra que se llamaba Shostakovich. En esa obra, él puso un paso fuerte ponche. Le quedó especial en esta obra. Desarrolló una variación del tercer acto del Padre de Don Quijote y la ha bailado prácticamente en todas partes del mundo. Él ha dejado su arte plasmado en la obra y en mi persona como artista. Por primera vez yo vi a un director de compañía que le gusta integrar a la escuela en las funciones. Es un privilegio para cada estudiante que está en esta escuela porque el escenario es lo que te da esa confianza, ese amor por la danza, por lo que tú estás haciendo. And Brazilian and the company we had dancers from Venezuela. We share the the different way to dance, you know, because we are Latino, they are Asian, and we dance together. I think from the audience to see different people for different country, for different dancer, way to dance. So this for me was really nice. I love this. He is our artistic director too. We are like long distance relationship. I mean, as a father and daughter, when it's Christmas, he's like a Santa. He brings us a lot of joy and, you know, very peaceful, very safe. He's, he's like our father. Para mí, el maestro es un ejemplo de trabajo. Aquí no paramos. Todo lo que ha creado es increíble. Y ahora, formando nuevas generaciones de niños, ha convertido su escuela en algo que va más allá de ser un negocio. Esto es realmente un lugar en donde las niñas pueden venir a aprender con el corazón. Only because of his passion, the way he believes in every single dancer. 25 years still working. More people know about us. So I want the world enjoy it like I'm enjoy it. Thank you everybody for believing me and I still work, I go to work, I still teach, I still dancing. <laughs>